What's your name? TJ. How do you feel today? Good. Can we talk about something real quick? I would like for you to tell everyone what was said to you by your neighbors over here. Me and you said we're playing in the backyard. He he came outside and said, get the F off my lawn before I shoot every one last one, every, every last one of y'all. I don't like neither of y'all. This man at this home behind you? Yes. He threatened to shoot you and your, your cousin? Yes. How old are you? I'm nine. How old is your cousin? Five, I mean seven. Seven? The man that's behind you, what is his race? He's white. He's a white man? He's an older man, younger man? Older. Did you say anything back to him? No. I just looked at him and walked in the house. Get off my, get the F off my line or he's gonna shoot me and him. All he wants you to do is walk up on his property and he's gonna buy, buy and get he So he said you. if you walk back on his property, he's going to? Shoot you. And you're just a kid. He don't care. What city is this? East Point, Michigan. This is East Point. You go to school, you're you're a good kid, you get good good grades. Yep. You shouldn't be going through this while you're visiting your grandmother, should you? Nope. I'm sorry you have to go through this. Is it hard being a black man in America? Yes. You don't deserve this, do you? Nope. Who? I did nothing to that woman. What would you like to say to the camera right now? What would you like to say to Instagram? You guys should help me. Pray and make sure nothing happens. That's what he said. Yeah. yeah. He's afraid because you know he's uh, a lot of people want to talk to him, you know, yeah. and he's afraid. Like uh, I had uh, a po made the police report on the 14th yeah. of this month, so. Uh, at first, I, I didn't really realize what he was so. He he gets distraught when he gets you know got something on his mind. Mm -hmm. I could tell was something wrong. I said, "What's wrong with you?" So that's when he said, "I don't like that man next door." And he was like, "I don't like he threatened me." I said, "What do you mean he threatened you?" He said, "He threatened to shoot me and Aiden as he said put back on his grass." And he said, "I don't like none of y'all." Mm -hmm. About all of us in this. Mm -hmm. He said he only told him to get off the grass, but that's not what he said. Mm -hmm. We know different because. Yeah. He's racist, yeah. you know, and they have cussed at the kids. My daughter got into it with him. There's a lot of stuff that triggered everything off because he was out here with a dog cage. And uh, she, the muck, the wife come out, stood on that porch, mm -hmm. and told him, leave that effing cage alone. Don't touch that fucking cage no more. Take your fucking ass back in the house. So he goes to tell his mother, and when his mother comes out, they sort of like got into a, a argument. And they wanted to come over here and jump on her, but they changed their mind about it, you know. And it's been going on ever since. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, uh, the police told us that we could be in danger mm -hmm. because it's going, you know, both ways. White people taking up for white, black taking mm -hmm. up for black. He said, I wouldn't want to see you get your house firebombed or shot up. At but that's why we're well, well, we here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. We want to let y'all know that y'all got an extra line of protection. If y'all show sure need us, our job is to come over here and speak to y'all. Some people be intimidated. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just tell them uh, we just tell them to come over to uh, check up on the welfare of the kids. That's all. They said people been coming over to the house. And that's all. They just throwing trash for us yeah. to play. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they said the same thing here though. The lady just said somebody just was standing sitting outside her house. You know what I mean? And, and right. they couldn't identify the car. It was just somebody just sitting outside the house staring at them coming in and out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of both. It's, if he said what he said, but if he's, I know he's denied. It's a horrible thing to say to the kid. I mean, why would an adult say anything like that to a kid? That's all. No, no, I get, I get it, it completely. But I'll just, you know, just let me all know. Um, you know the reason that we all do. You know what I mean? Check, right. on, check on that. We just had the same situation with up in Epsilon a few, a few uh, months ago. I know y'all heard about that. When a neighbor actually came outside and shot the kid. Um, right. Do our due yeah. diligence to make sure that we know exactly what's going on, especially when it pertains to kids. Right. Yeah, I, I, he's denying it. 
So so we don't need the thought. Yeah, yeah, we just coming up here, like I said, just to talk to the family. Shake shake little man hand, cause he, you know, some somebody told him he was gonna kill him. Right. You know what I mean? Right. We don't know what type of damage that does to a kid, you know? Yes, please do. Anything that y'all see somebody, so if y'all see somebody over here sitting in a car, don't look familiar, take pictures. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, that's what the picture told us. So if y'all see anything like that, just let us know. We'll be over here for y'all. Okay. Alright, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Give me some love, bro. I'm just scared, bro. People out here fighting. You know what I mean? They here to help you, okay? If you need them.